Hello, lovely children. Welcome to another lesson in science. Today, we'll look at diversity of matter and still look at materials. But under materials, we'll look at mixtures. Mixtures. So by the end of today's lesson, you should be able to describe a solid liquid mixture and explain how to separate its component. So today we will describe a solid liquid mixture and then explain how to separate the components of the mixture. Now let us look at our keywords. The first keyword we have solid. Solid. So solid is when something is firm or stable. When something is firm or stable, we can say that that thing is a solid. So we have an example like the sand, the coin, gravels, rock. They are all firm and stable. So they are known as solid. All right, so let us move on to liquid. Liquid. So liquid is a substance that flow Free. Liquid is a substance that flows freely. So anything that flows freely, we can say that that thing is a liquid. And the substance here is something important or it is a thing. Okay, so liquid is a thing that flows freely. So example is the water or the oil. They can flow freely without any disturbance. So that is a liquid. And then we have mixture. Mixture. A mixture is a substance made by mixing other substances together. So when you have a thing which is being mixed by one or two things, we can say that that thing is a mixture. That is when you put one or two things together, okay, that thing you are putting together forms a mixture. That's why we are saying that mixture is a substance that is made by mixing other substances together. So mixing, when you mix, it becomes a what? A mixture. And then we have components. Components. So component, it is a part of a larger whole, like a whole number, a whole watermelon, one watermelon. So when you take part of the watermelon, the part becomes component. So component is a part of something. So that is about our keywords. And I hope that will help us to understand the lesson better. Now let us move on. Let us look at mixture. Mixture. What, what we understand by mixture. So mixture or mixtures are made up of more than one substance. So a mixture is made up of more than one thing. That is a combination of two or more things becomes a mixture. For example, a combination of salt and water is an example of a mixture because you are mixing salt with water. So two things coming together forms a mixture. Yes, so food products such as salad, okay, when you are preparing salad or you buy salad, you realize that it is not made up of just one vegetable okay you have different vegetables coming together to form salad so you have the cabbage the carrot the green pepper and the others so the, all these vegetables are put together to form a salad so the salad becomes a mixture of different vegetables Put together, and then we have the gari, and then 
the sugar. And then we have the gari and then the beans. Yes. So when you mix the gari with the beans, it becomes a mixture. Okay. So those are examples of mixtures, everyday mixtures that we see around. And then one thing we should know is that no new substance is formed out from the mixture. Okay. When you mix gari with beans, it doesn't form another thing. It's okay. It is just a mixture of two things or there are two things put together. Right. So let us move on to solid liquid mixture. What we understand by solid liquid mixture. So solid, we understand that solid is when something is what? Firm and stable. And then liquid is when something can flow what? Freely. So we know an example of a solid such as the salt and then an example of the liquid like the water. So salt and water coming together forms solid and then liquid. So when they are mixed together, then we have a mixture of liquid and solid. So that is about the solid and liquid mixture. Putting solid and then a liquid substance together, mixing them together, then we can term it as a solid and liquid mixture. Now let us look on our screen, the solid and then liquid mixture. So solid liquid mixture is a mixture formed by mixing a solid and a liquid. Yes. So when you mix a solid and a liquid, it becomes solid liquid mixture. So we have examples of solid liquid mixtures. So the first image you can see is a mixture of salt and water. That is what a solid and a liquid. So the salt is the solid and then the water is the liquid. And then we have a combination of sand and water. So that is what a solid and another liquid mixture. Then we have water mixed with granite and then gari with ice cubes. So that is also different solids combined or mixed with water. So solid and then liquid mixed together. Good. So today what we'll do is that we'll mix a solid and liquid substance and then separate those components. So let us look at how to prepare a solid liquid mixture. So the materials we need, we need the, the beaker which is what, what we put our mixtures in. But in this case I'm using my cup and then my bottles. Okay, then we need a spoon. We need our water. And then sun. So I have my sun here. And then salt. I have my salt here as well. And then I have a powdered chalk. Yes, powdered chalk. Good. Now let us start with the sun and then the water. So I have my cup with me over here. I'll pour a little water in it, about half. Good. So we realize that we have a clean water. Is that okay? We have a clean water. Now we we'll add a solid, which is the sun. So this is the sun. Good. 
Good. So we will stir it. What do we see? What has happened? Good. So we'll leave it down for some time. We'll leave our mixture to sit for some time. Our next mixture will take the salt and then the water. So I have my cup here. I'll pour a little water in it. And then I will add my salt. I hope you saw that. I'll mix that as well. I'll stir it. I'll stir it together. Good. It will also sit for some time. Now we'll move on to our last mixture, which, which is the powdered chalk. So as usual, our water goes first, then our powdered chalk follows. So we'll mix that one too. I hope you can see what is happening. So that is it. It will also sit for some time. So that is about a mixture. So we have three different types of mixtures. We have the sand and then the water, powder chalk and water. And then we have the salt and water. Now let us look at what we have. So let us take our sand and then water. What do we see? Or what do you see? We realize that the sand has settled, okay, at the bottom of the cup. Then we have the water. The water has now changed its color. But we can see something on the water. Yes, the particles, the sand particles. So they are suspended on the water. So we have our sand, our water, and then the particles on top of it. Good. Now, what do we see here? This is our salt and then our water. The color hasn't changed much. We can't see the salt. In this case, the salt has what? Dissolved or disappeared. Okay. The salt has mixed together with the what? The water. So it has dissolved in the water. And then we have our powdered chalk and then our water. Realize that the chalk has also what? The chalk has also settled down. And then we have the water on top of it. Just like the sun and then the water. We can see the chalk at the bottom and then the sun also at the bottom of the cups. Very good. So that is about our mixtures. Now let us look at this. When common salt is mixed with water, 
That is what? Salt with water. The salt disappears or the salt dissolves. So the solid, which is the what? The salt dissolves in the liquid, which is the water. So something like this, a mixture of salt and water is known as solution. So this is known as solution. So when you mix salt with water, we can say that it is solution. Good. Now the solid part of it, the solid which is the salt, is known as the solute. The solute. And then the liquid which is the water is known as the solvent. The solvent so we have the solute which is the solid and then the solvent which is a what the liquid good so this is a what a solution so anything at all that can dissolve or any solid at all that can dissolve or disappear in water that mixture can be termed as solution so for example, when you take the sugar, sugar also disappears in, in water. So that is also called a solution. Good. Now let us move on. We can see on our screen a solution. That is a solvent and a solute. And then we have the powder chalk with the water. So those are the two different kinds of mixtures that we just did. Good. Now we'll look at how to separate the solid and then the liquid mixture. So solid liquid mixtures can be separated by any of the two methods below. So we have different methods or ways of separating solid liquid mixtures. But we'll look at two of those methods. And then we'll look at it depending on the components of the mixture, depending on the things that were used for the mixture. So we can either use filtration or evaporation. So we we'll use filtration or evaporation depending on the type of mixture that we have. Good. So the first method we'll look at is the filtration. The filtration method. So the filtration is a method used to separate a solid and then liquid mixture. Like the sand and water. So when you want to separate sand and water mixed together, we'll use the method filtration to separate it. So it uses a filter paper which has tiny pores in it to allow only water to enter. It is very, very tiny. So the particles of the sun or the sun itself cannot pass through the filter paper. So it leaves the solid, which is the what? The sand. It leaves it out. So you only get the liquid coming out from the filter paper. So the things that you will need to make up the filtration setup is a cup full of the mixture. And then we need a filter paper, a funnel, okay, and then another beaker or a cup. So we can see on our screen a labeled diagram of a filtration setup. So we can see the first cup, which is the solid and then the liquid, that is the sand and then the water. Then we have the filter paper in the funnel. 
okay in the filter funnel and then we have the beaker itself or the cup itself so realize that the, so, uh, the solid and the liquid mixture is being poured into the filter paper so the filter paper is taking all the solid and then the liquid part is what getting into the other cup so the water that is coming out is known as the filtrate the filtrate so that is the water the clean water we are getting from the mixture of the sun and then the water so the sun so the, the filter paper will contain just the sand and the water will be what left out so that is the setup for our filtration so that is how we can separate our water from our sand so separating sand and water can be done by using the filtration method so this method involves the use of filter paper the filter paper allows only water to pass through it so it does not allow the sun to pass through yes so you get only the water at the other side of the cup and then by this way the mixture of sun and water can be poured into the filter paper and separated so now the water is separated from the sun the sun is in the filter paper and then the water is in another cup so the sun that remains in the filter paper is called the residue residue and then the water that comes out of the filter paper is called the filtrate so the sand is called the what the residue and then the water that comes out is called the filtrate good now let us look at the second method of separation the second method is evaporation evaporation so this method is used to separate a soluble solid from a liquid. That is a what? A solution. So salt and water. We use evaporation method to separate salt and water. So for example, a mixture of salt and water as we did uses what? Evaporation. And then the method of evaporation uses heat to cause the liquid part of the mixture to evaporate, leaving the solid, which is the salt particles, in the evaporation dish. This is how it goes. Let us look at the image on our screen. So we have the heat underneath or below the basin okay where we have our solution in so the vapor is what the water that comes out so we have the solvent vapor okay so when the water is boiling and then we have the vapor the water is what coming out is that okay the water comes out so it's going to boil for some time, for a long time. Then we we'll have only the salt in the basin. We we'll have only the salt in the basin. You realize that most of the time when you are even boiling water, okay, and you leave the water on for a long time, before you realize the water is gone. It's because of the what? The vapor, the heat. Okay, the water comes out and then the salt remains in the basin. 
So that is the process of evaporation. So the water goes out by boiling and then we we'll have salt left. Good. Now let us look at the uses of solid and liquid mixtures in our everyday life. So the first one we have is that the production of paints, the paints, okay. Chemicals are mixed together to get a particular color. Is that okay? So it also involves a mixture of two or more paints to form a particular paint to use. And then a solid liquid mixture or a solid liquid mixtures are used in the preparation preparation of beverages, soups and other soft drinks. So for instance, when you want to if you want a very hot tea, you have your milo, your milk, your water. When you mix everything together, it becomes a what? A mixture. So you have your solid liquid mixture there. And then our solution, salt solution. It's a mixture of salt and water, which is used at times as medicine. So sometimes you have a stomach upset, and then mommy will tell you, let me mix salt and water together. When you drink it, you realize that you become much better. So the solution is used as medicine. And then concrete, yes, our cement, our sand, and then water, when you mix it together. Cement is what? Solid. Sand is also solid. And then you have the liquid, which is water. So there you have solid and liquid mixture. So the gravels, the sand and water, they are used in what? Building. So another use of solid liquid mixture. Very good children. So what have we learned so far? Today we've looked at mixtures. We realize that in our everyday life, we mix a lot of things. We mix two or three things together and that is known as mixture. We looked at solid liquid mixtures, salt and water together, making a solid and then a liquid mixture. And then we looked at how to separate the mixtures. We looked at the filtration method and then we looked at the evaporation method. We said that the filtration method is used in separating mixtures such as the sand and water and then the evaporation is used when we want to separate salt from water good children i hope you enjoy it. good children i hope you enjoyed today's lesson i'll meet you on zoom to have a better understanding on this lesson I'll see you all another time. Make sure you do this experiment and then try to separate it looking at our image. Be good boys and girls. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.